U.S. Olympian Charles Conwell looks to remain undefeated as he will take on his toughest test on paper thus far. Cleveland, Ohio, here is the undefeated Charles Conwell! So Charles Conwell, just 25 years of age, it's interesting, guys. When we the ring stands, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. We're in burgundy with yellow. He weighed in 153.8 pounds. In 17 professional fights, he stands perfect with 17 victories, including 13 wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the undefeated super welterweight from Cleveland, Ohio, Charles Bendis Conway! Conwell is walking him down, taking his time. Take, you know, just taking his time, not, not rushed. You gotta work that shoulder, man. Keep working. Throw your hand. When you slipping inside, you slipping and looking too much. He pushing you. You know what I'm saying? Let your man go. Stop that. Yeah, yeah, we got it. You, you gotta be able. Then they answer. Okay. Cutbacks got the corner people to take care of that problem. Oh, and this is why you do not sort of you have a quality cut man yes. for situations like yes. this. You do not just get anybody. I was just gonna say, Ray, this is why you spend spend the money. A lot of guys won't. A lot of corners won't spend the money. Spend the money for quality cut man. And the I don't know if that guy that cut could keep bleeding like that. But it also ride. makes. Get out of the way. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, look. Start your punches at a, at, at a medium. Attack the body, then step to the side or drop and shoot your up and over. You know what I'm saying? It's there. You know, he laying in there. If he lay in there, touch that shoulder, step in there, and let your hands go to the body, man. This shit easy, for real. Quit playing. Yeah, he's trying to quit. Yeah, yeah, all you need is step in and step out. Yeah, power four is set up. Yeah. Beautiful. Turn the stone. Go ahead. Beautiful. You got you, but you waiting too long. Why you waiting so long? Man, you can't counter, you gotta be first. Counter is making that punch, that eye open up again. You can't do that. You can't counter. You gotta take it. Here we see uh Conwell, you know, uh, in this fight a couple of times, I mean, more than a couple of times, he's been able to hurt Abreu, and Abreu just by that right hand, and then we see that left oh. body shot just out of nowhere, and you could see the express. Oh, we see uh, Conwell again with that body shot. Look at that. Every time, and, and you know what, Abreu, asked him for, he asked for another body shot. It wasn't as good as the, the one before. at what was an eventful matchup here with Charles Conwell and Juan Carlos Abreu. And we'll see Abreu trying to keep him on the ropes, but Conwell, I mean, look, same thing what we saw with Abreu. The whole fight, he never gave up. Conwell landed the big shot there. Abreu telling him, come on, I want more. Conwell gives him more. Again, he had him out there. He had him hurt. But Abreu knew how to survive. Used his veteran skills, round number seven. We're looking at that big body shot. Look at the way he falls there, Abreu. But he still comes back. Look at that body shot again. He asked him for some more. Give me more body shots. In round 10, they both guys fought all the way to the end. Look at Abreu trying to link to the body. And Carwell giving him some of his own medicine. Man, this, this was a hell of a fight. Yeah. Are the judges totals? Judge Ron Stevens scores his bout even 95 95. Zach Young has it 98 92. Fernando Villarreal, 96-94. Your winner by majority decision. He is still undefeated, Charles Bad News Conwell. It depends on what you're looking at. I mean, I know 
you know, the judge called it, he called it a draw. It was just whatever he, he thought he saw. But I, I didn't think there was any dispute. So scores were 98-90 top the punches. You saw Codwell very accurate. 179 landed out of 411 thrown, a 44% connect percentage. But how about defensively? The fact that Abreu only landed 74 of 512 thrown for a 14% connect percentage. Look at the power punch standpoint, 51% connect percentage power punch wise, just 19% for Abreu. So clearly, Charles Codwell was accurate yeah. as deemed by our friends at CompuBox. And Raul Marquez is still. tough fight, huh? How did you feel? I felt good. I felt that the. Uh... One of the two of the scorecards are kind of close. I thought I won about wider margin. I heard him multiple times. Uh, I could have picked up a gas in a couple spots to get him out of there, but other than that, he's a tough competitor. You had to deal with some adversity early on. You know, you got cut on your eye, you got cut on your nose. You took it very well. Can you talk about that? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, a little blood was getting my eyes, but it ain't nothing we ain't used to. We trained for everything, so it was no big surprise. Just had to stay focused and stay calm and stick to the game plan. How do you rate your performance, and what, what do you think uh, you're gonna you learn from uh, going ten rounds with a, with a tough guy, a veteran like uh, Abreu? Uh, I give my, myself a C plus. You know, there's a lot of things I can still work on and get better. But you know, it's a boxing game, and you know, I'm gonna keep getting better, man. It was no, no big deal. What do you see? What's next? What's in the future for you? Uh, I'm looking to get bigger fights, guys, ex world champions, guys like Danny Garcia and and things of that nature. So we just ready for bigger and better things after this. Anything else you want to say to your fans from Ohio? Um, uh, shout out to everybody who watched. Shout out to all my sponsors back at home. Shout out to Soul City. So tell my family I love them. Uh, happy belated birthday to my father and myself. I want to just uh, keep them continuing to get better. All righty. Congratulations to Team Bad News. And uh, let's go back to ringside with uh, Ray Fotis.